Hey guys, you're uh, squatching with Lee. Um, this is the area where um, me and Sam, Sam I am, uh, when I talk about the night that we had the encounter where he saw the old man of the forest, this right here is the area. So I'm going to walk up through here. I'm going to show you where we was at and show you around the area and we're going to look for some tracks, all right? And I'm trying out my new selfie stick, so just go along with me on this. <laughs> So, we'll see what happens. We're gonna go up here at the top first and um, I'll show you where we was at. We'll work our way back down and I'll show you exactly where it happened and where the uh, creature walked back up to when Sam saw it. Now one thing I can tell you about this place, guys, is during the summer when me and Sam was out here, it was tick heaven. I think Sam had like 20 ticks on him, so. Growed up a lot out here since the last time I ever seen. Got a lot of fallen trees, so we don't look exactly like it did when me and Sam was out here, but that's it. That's been several years ago. But it's the exact same area, so we'll go a little further because we was up here. A lot of thorn bushes. All right, guys, this right here is the exact spot that me and Sam was in the night that that took place. It was a, uh, it was a Friday night. We're right here in this area right here. Well, I'm gonna pan around and I'll show you the entire area. So one good thing I like about this selfie stick is I can do a 360 and still see what I'm doing. All right, now anyway, we were right here, in this area right here, guys. I had my tent right over here. Sam was right next to me, all right? Now, we had walked all the way down there and all back up through here, okay? And we had set up uh, trip lines, all right? 
Because Sam, yeah, he's ex-military, he wanted to do this. So we set up trip lines and we set up little bells on them, little green and red bells, all right? So we went this entire area and we set up trip lines all the way around us, all right? Well, that night, <clears throat> about probably, I don't know, it was close to 10 o'clock, it was already dark because it was back during between October and November. So um, we had a fire built out here, okay? I'm sorry, I take it back. I'm, I'm sorry, I take it back. It was closer to June because it wasn't dark yet, but it, got, it was dark probably around, I don't know, 8.30, 9 o'clock. So I take it back. I'm sorry, my mistake. Um, but anyway, like I said, we had a fire sitting here and all of a sudden, we heard something sound like a deer and it went Barrr! like that, all right? So we kind of looked at each other and Sam said, did you hear that? And I said, yep, sure did. So we're sitting here, I don't know, maybe 30, 40 minutes go by and we hear it again. Well, about another 20, 30 minutes go by, we hear it again. And Sam said, I'll tell you what, he said, next time that thing does that, he said, I'm going down the hill right down there and he said I'm gonna find out what that is because like I said we had been in here since probably 4 30 quarter to 5 and we got in here we were the only ones in here there was absolutely nobody around us whatsoever as you can see I mean literally as you can see around me there is literally nobody out here around us okay so about probably 10 30 quarter to 11 we hear it again as soon as we hear it again, Sam jumps up. He grabs my flashlight, the only flashlight I had, so I'd use my flashlight on my phone. He takes off. So he goes right back down here. I'll see exactly where this happened, guys. A lot of thorn bushes out here. A lot. <clears throat> so we go all the way back down here. I mean, literally, like, you know, we, we way back up there. And we go all the way down here, okay? Till we get, like, right about... Right about in this area right here, okay? Now, again, this has been several years ago. So what I'm showing you right here, all this was nothing but like overbrush. Cause like I said, this was during, yeah, like I said, during summer. Growed up overbrush, tick heaven. You know, uh, some trees that fell, pile up on top of each other, blah, blah, blah. So we get down here. I'm standing right back over here, okay? Sam is like right over here. So I'm standing back over here and we're looking around. All of a sudden, this thing goes, Barr! like that. And when it did, I wish Sam was here, he could tell you. We heard, literally, we heard this thing come up and get up off the ground, guys. That, that is no lie. Because we heard the brush, like the sticks come up off the ground. We heard it was coming up underneath that pile of stuff is what it was doing. Just as soon as it got up, all right? Just as soon as it got up, it takes off up this way, all right? Sam takes off up after it, okay? So he takes off. I go up behind him. He's yelling, you know, come on, come on, come on. I said, hold on, Sam, you got the flashlight, all right? So he takes off. I'm going to go right back here and show you where it went. So here we go again. We're going back up the hill, all right? Now, mind you, it is pitch black out here, all right, guys? And when I say pitch black, I mean you cannot see your hand in front of your face. It is dark, okay? So we're going up through here. Sam, he's over here. He's over here in this area. And he's going up that way. Well, I'm going up this way so I can still see the path because, you know, you can't see it right now, but there's a lot of places out here that are what I call leg breakers. You hit the hole, you're gone, okay? 
like I said, Sam's going through here. He's going up right through there. So, you know, here I am trying to catch up with him. So, I get right, right about here yeah, because there's that tree. So, I get like right about here, right? And just as soon as I get right here, Sam yells, Did you see it? Did you see it? And I said, did I see what, Sam? I can't see nothing. It's pitch dark, man. You got the flashlight. He said, right up here, man. He said, you didn't see it. And I said, no. All right. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to show you exactly where he was at. All right, guys, so now Sam is off over in here. I'm down here, right? All right. Sam said that what he saw, okay, went from like, well, it's hard to judge which tree it was because like I said, that's been several years ago. If I am mistaken, it was either that tree right there or it was this tree back over in here. But either way, what Sam said he saw was he saw something step out. It went that way. It turned and went straight back up that hill real quick. Now, he only saw this thing just a few seconds, all right? And like I said, since then, there's a lot of trees in here that has failed, okay? Because we're talking... Oh Lord, we're talking probably a good, probably seven years ago. So it's been a while, okay? So, but like I said, he said it, he saw it, it took off that way. And I asked him, I said, what did you see? He said, man, he said, I saw a big pair of head, a big head, a big pair of shoulders, and he said, I saw the arm swing, all right? Now, mind you, the thing that I never told Sam was that there's one out here that is called the old man of the forest, okay? He's called that because he's completely silver, silver and gray, but more silver than anything, okay? I had never told Sam that, all right? So Sam said he saw the big head. He said he saw the shoulders. He saw the arm swing. I said, well, are you sure it wasn't a deer? He said, no. He said, this thing was not a deer. He said, I promise you, head, shoulders, arms. He said, this was no deer. He said it was silver. And I just kind of looked at him. I said, what color did you say it was? He said, it was silver. I said, how do you know that? And he said, well, when my flashlight hit it, he said, um, like the old uh, Christmas tinsel that people used to use back in the 70s and 80s, like, you know, you throw it on a Christmas tree and it would kind of like give it like a little glistening effect. He said, when my flashlight hit it, he said, that's exactly what I saw. He said, it glistened off the fur and he said, it was silver looking. Okay, again, I have never told Sam about that. So, unfortunately, I did not see it. I wish I had, but... This is where that took place. And like I said, it's been several years ago. A lot of things have changed. A lot of trees have fallen. We had a lot of overgrowth. And it looks nothing to what it did with me and Sam was here, trust me. Because like I said, that was tick heaven. But anyway, I wanted to show you all that and show you exactly where it happened. This is exactly where it happened. And I wish Sam was here because so he could tell you. But anyway, we heard that, okay? The night goes on. We sat down by the fire and we're talking about it the rest of the night. About 4.30 in the morning, up behind us, which would have been up in that area right there, okay? All of a sudden, between 4.30 and quarter to five, we hear, Bah! It does it again. Well, Sam jumps up and he says, all right, you SOB. He says, come on back down here. I know you up here. <laughs> so, night goes on, the next morning comes, right? And remember, we got trip lines around us, a little bells. Well, the next morning comes, I don't know, it, we'd been in our tent maybe two, two and a half hours. So I get out and I'm standing. And look at here, guys, right here is the same hill. Right here it is. All right, look right here, I'll see if we can show you this. You see this mound of dirt, which is right, where I'm pointing at right here? All right, let's see what, I'm gonna step right up on it. See, see it pushes me up in the air, all right. 
Sam's tent was right here, right here. I'm right there. The trip line was through these trees, right around here, came right through here, went back right back down through there. That's where the bell was at. All right, we get up the next morning. I'm standing over there. Sam gets out, he's standing brushing his teeth. He comes over here, he says, hey man, come here, look at this. We get out and right here is exact spot right here. The trip line is broke, okay? The little green bell is gone and there is a footprint. God is my witness. There is a footprint about 15 inches, maybe 15, almost 16 inches. It is right there, exactly where my foot's at. And it was standing right here, tripped that line, and it was looking right dead at Sam's tent. Now, like I said, I wish Sam was here so he could tell you. <laughs> it, it was a crazy night, but that was, that was a good night. But I'm telling you, this is the exact spot where we had this happen. This is the hill where we found the footprint. This is the area where Sam saw the old man of the forest. And again, we're gonna walk around and look for some tracks, but I really wanted to show you all that because I've never had a chance to actually even show you all this area. I've talked about it numerous times. And like I said, now that I got my little, you know, my little uh, selfie stick where I can do my videos, it gives me a little more range to work with, which is really, really great. So, uh, but anyway, guys, I just wanna show you all that. and. I thank you for your time and we're gonna look around some. Thanks guys.